Kyle.
Holy shit. What a hassle that was. <laughs> wow. It's just I, I this is what happens when you want to stream to multiple sources and all that. Uh sounds like I have sound, so that's good. All right, let's get into this garbage. Jeez. All I wanted to do was have some fun. Okay. Thanks. Okay. 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 There we go. All right. What a hassle. Tea of the night. Yeah. This is uh, Celestial Seasonings Black Cherry Berry, it's called, actually. It's very good. Mm, again, tastes like red jello. Mm, very good. <laughs> okay. Like, yeah, you change one setting. Well, it's not even that. It's just, I mean, my, I did have a setting before to... I used to have it pretty much perfectly set up to to stream to multiple sources, and now I don't. And so I had to, I don't know, my one of my programs just decided to take a shit on me, and it doesn't work. Huh. Okay, sorry, I'm also adding um, captions to this. Uh, you'd have to enable them, but just to see what happens. It's... Uh, it's weird, that's for sure. Okay, so, more broken sword, huh? Let's get into this crap. Where did we last leave our heroes? Uh, at a cafe, I believe. Oh, boy. Alright, I can close that now. That's good. Okay, cool. Alright. Let's get into that. Oh, yeah. Remember the controls? Yeah, it should be just clicking, if I'm not mistaken. Hmm. Might become a problem. Uh, are we seeing the game? We are seeing the game. Okay, cool. Oh, boy. Just uh, trying to change something here is all. Okay. <laughs> I can't do both. All right. Oh, that's chat. That's why. Hey, there we go. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. I thought I could have the projector but I can't. Okay, that's all right. Let's just get into the game. Oh, that's right. So we left uh, trying to find the security company that makes that camera or whatever. It's this guy in an alley. So that's... Um... Please don't touch the sign. You'll just make it worse. What accent are you going for there? Phone covers, cassettes, all sorts. Cassettes, huh? What year is this? The stall was a myriad of retro kitsch. Oh, okay. Bottle stoppers, keychains, musical cards. Phone covers, cassettes, all sorts. Okay, okay. Hi, I wonder if you can help me. I'm looking for Vera Security. That's me. Yes, of course. It's the shop behind you. Oh, okay. The one labeled Thank you. Vera uh, Security. The George, by the way. I don't Tony care. Hassan. And do please forgive me, but I'm in no mood to talk. I have a resounding headache. That's that's gonna be a key uh, thing later. Migraine, eh? The worst. The buzzing and flashing from the old sign is killing me. I thought the neon sign had potential until it broke. Mm. Is it your sign? No, the previous owners. Used to be a restaurant. So take it down. Horrible. Adversely affecting my footfall and giving me a splitting headache. 
You want me to try fixing that sign for you? I am an electri you know electrician, you sort of. As long as you got some tinfoil. I'm good at fixing things. Then please do. I'm no good at electricals. Oh. Marketing analysis and predicting trends is more my thing. Oh, okay then. Well, um, let's see if we got some tinfoil to fix that with. What do I got in my purse? I took a good look at the sign. Is this a was exposed and the cover broken? Oh no. No wonder it was flashing. Uh I pulled the wire off. Okay, I thought this was a mini game, but okay. That was one way to stop the letter flashing. <laughs> now only half the sign. But you were right, he runs a stall? Yeah, I know. You think he'd be into like stock market or something. Now do we want to put that back somewhere or are we done here? What? <laughs> I can take letters. Uh oh, this is a mini game, isn't it? Bad do. I'm sorry. What was I doing? <laughs> um. Hmm. Sail. What am I doing? Sorry, I was hardly listening. I was not listening. Objective is to rearrange the letters to form a new word that is appropriate for Bassam's predicament. The letters that form a new word need to be lit, so they must be placed in the seven sockets on the right side of the sign. Interact with the letter to pick it up. Okay. Oh, okay. The letters could be moved around. That's not usually how it goes, but okay. The right letter to spell Bassam. I was gonna say, yeah, we can't really do that. Something else. Hmm. Hmm. Well, what's what does he run? Hmm. The buzzing and flashing has stopped. And I am very grateful. But the sign still looks pretty terrible, doesn't it? When you're building a brand from the ground up, name is everything. Hmm. I need a name that makes my customers long for adventure and treasures from faraway places. Broken sword. Tell me about your business idea. This stall is going to put me through college while giving me field experience. Oh. But the nonsense sign is working against me. It should spell a name for my shop. I need something original, yet familiar, bright and in your face, yet subtle and symbolic. Hmm. I could take a look at your sign, come up with something. You're like a genie from a magic lamp. I decided to keep the wire. Okay, it's my wire. If Sam knew how flimsy the sign was, he wouldn't be happy. Do you think I could spell Tomb Raider? No, I don't think I could. <laughs> Ever since that last game, though, George has become Womb Raider. Hmm. Something adventurous and whatever? Hmm. I don't know. There's a bit of a space here. So maybe we can make this like a... Oop, no, put that here. Okay. Oh, wait, there's an empty spot. I can put that there. Uh, okay. Okay, so... Oh, wait, there's not really a space. It's just that's the kerning. Okay, and never mind. Um... Huh. Is there, like... Okay. <laughs> There's nothing here. Hmm. I don't know. Any any ideas of a word we could make? Hmm. Well, 
Oops. Uh. Oh wait, hang on. I gotta make some space here. Send IED. Oh no. <laughs> send IED. You know, we need to know how to send a bomb. Send a D. Send ad. Send 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 lad. Aladdin's. <laughs> I don't know what you think of that one. It's spelled really badly, but... Oh, well, hang on. <laughs> it's because it's not an E. Oh. You didn't like that one. Hmm. Dead. Dead Ned. There you go. I <laughs> let. Oh, that's a good idea. There's also no T. Hmm. Also, they have an accent on the D there. I think they'd want me to do something like that. Hmm. I don't know. What could we call this guy's shop? At no. least the sign's not buzzing anymore. I know, and I do appreciate it. But now it just spells nonsense. And as it says in all the books, branding is key. If only it spelled out a whole new word. <laughs> okay, so I was right. Send my business soaring, journey, a whole new world. All right, all right, all right. I see what you're trying to do. All right. Yeah. yeah. There are two D's in Aladdin, but I don't want this one. But only one A. And one L, I think, too. Oops. Uh-oh. I thought there's two D's in Aladdin. Aladdin's. That sounded almost ideal. Except there was only one Basan. I see. Aha. That seemed like a good name. If I was right, I just did it wrong. Yeah, okay. I know it's not your name, but 
Aladdin. Very cool. <laughs> That's a terrific name for my store. Hits every one of my USPs. Do you what? Like it. You're a genius, George. Let me know if I can do anything for you. <laughs> You're a racist, George. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> no problem. Aha, Mr. Stobart. What can I do for you? Okay, see, Aladdin is actually an old software company that used to make um, uh, archival software for uh, Mac OS, or System 7, anyway, and older. I really like your new sign. It's magnificent. I owe you one. What do you think? Of? I'm over the moon, George. Thanks to you, I can now sell my retro cavalcade of musical cards, brushes, souvenirs. And you know what they say, happy sellers. The more the barrier. Disney, gonna, Disney can't sue, but Aladdin Software so might. <laughs> I don't know. Actually, I don't think they exist anymore. Ah, I'm glad you asked. I sell all those things you can't get anywhere else in Paris. Deodorant? Like? English biscuits, Turkish delight, French cassettes, Brazilian Betamax videos. <laughs> no, no one sells cassettes or Betamax anymore, so yeah. Usually he says, like, see ya, but he didn't. So. Ah! Help! What's wrong? Ew. There's a monster. What? Where? On the floor. Get rid of it. Oh, the cockroach. Yes, the cockroach. Help! Anyway, Aladdin is actually public domain. Come here, little fella. What the fuck's wrong with you, George? There were crumbs on the floor. No wonder the cockroach was sticking around. I was never going to catch it with my bare hands. Oh. I needed a better... Yeah. Maybe we got a cup. There you go. That would have violated the chemical... <laughs> <laughs> He's got a smart guy response for everything. How about this? That was okay. I don't know. I was never gonna catch. Yeah, okay, no. I don't think we're gonna get catch this thing, really. Uh, what we got? Maybe an ashtray. We can catch it. But there's also a dead rat. Stret. What? The ashtray was full of cigarette butts. The filters were gold colored. Very exotic. Romanovs. A Russian brand cigarette. The pack was empty. As a child, I'd always been told not to play with matches. But I never could resist. Mm. The story of Aladdin is public domain, but that specific design of Aladdin, that's not. Oh, whoops. Um, I'm sorry, what? Stretch goal? Yeah, me neither. There was a huge cockroach in the way. In the way? What do you mean? Oh, wow. That's rude. Dragon sword. Uh, stretch goal rat? Excuse me? What is this thing? Huh. So it's something. It's something to do with the Kickstarter, of course. Okay, so it's just a uh, joke about how the stretch goal wasn't met. Okay, there we go. Hello, I'm... Cockroach! I see the little beggar. Okay, well, I don't know how to get rid of him. 
Who the fuck is messaging me at this hour? I don't know. Use the matchbox on the cockroach. I want to take a closer look. Okay. Maybe I can get a cup. Why does the cockroach have his own music? I tipped out the matches. Oh. I couldn't catch it just by swiping at it. I'd need to entice it closer. What? What are we doing? Nope. I needed to try something else. Oh, we want to put it in the matchbox. Oh. I was never going to... Pick up some crumbs. crumbs on the I don't have any sort of food I can put in there. I couldn't catch it just by swiping. Matches always. Not in this case. I needed a better. What do you expect me to do? I wasn't going to talk to Nico about this. Maybe you know. Aha, Mr. Stobart. What can I do for you? Now don't you find it warm with a, a t-shirt, sweater, and jacket? Do you happen to know a good way to catch a cockroach? To be honest, George, I'm better at questions on balancing budgets within a liberal economic framework. But as a layman, perhaps I could suggest you trap it? And please, whatever you do, don't squish it. Why? Why is that? The entire family will catch the scent and arrive for the funeral. Oh. Ooh, we don't want that. You need to find a container of some sort. Then I think add this. This? What do you got this? Rich tea. Oh, what's that, a cookie? The perfect cockroach biscuit. Dry, dull, unsatisfying, and yet curiously Moorish. I'll give it a try. My white taste buds did try some, uh, where were they from? I think Indian? Indian sweets? Cuisine? Uh, fucking, um, Do you know anything about cookies of some kind? They were not sweet. Not They're really. very plain. I haven't been here long, but neither have they by the looks of it. Why do you say that? Rush setup, new sign, low investment, and no customers except for you. Well, this is not a very good spot. So, what else are you selling? Stop by now and then. You'll be surprised. No kidding? You got, like, old Nintendo games? For the cookie. It was delicious. <laughs> okay, can I add the cookie into the matchbox now? Yes. I've made a great home for a little critter. And I got some cookie left over. Perfect. Snack for later. Okay. Just throw it in the river or something. I don't know. What happened? <laughs> Click on the cockroach. To set the trap down somewhere and wait for my friend to make move. Okay. Oh, there we go. Trap. Now, all I had to do was wait. <laughs> Use the cheeseburger, yeah. <laughs> it's only from two games ago. Gotcha. Oh, he's already running away. I didn't click. Oh, he's just. You are a gentleman and no mistake. I hate cockroaches. And they hate you. Always ready to help a damsel in distress. I bet you are. Can I help you? Yes, please. Do you know if there's anyone in the office I can talk business with? Yes, me, chérie. I'm Annette, the manager. Oh gosh, I'm sorry. I I didn't mean the gloves. I, I just thought. Ah, easy mistake to make. Are they pink? Reconstructed, that is. Oh, but I have been reconstructed a number of times from the ground up. What? 
What does that mean? Yes. Yes. There's been a theft at the Lizard Bleu. A painting's been stolen. Shame. Still, I'm sure you'll get over it. Yeah, but it was your I camera. I believe your company set up the security. Oh, no, we didn't. Oh, yes, you did. Didn't. Did. I've got all day. Me too. But I didn't. Oh, okay. Thanks. Oh, whoops. <laughs> I thought I had to go grab it in my bag. All right. What can I do for you? Uh, well, I have this invoice that says, you did. It says here that Vera was hired to do the security of the gallery. Didn't do a very good job, did you? Ooh. Did you get that? At the gallery? That job was signed off. You can't say we were to blame. I was getting a bad feeling. Mm. The place looked like a front. Got a vasectomy. Oh, I see. Wasn't helping. Maybe the office itself could give me more information. Are you done? Only I want to listen to this next race. Are you betting on a horse? No, I just like hearing the sound of hooves. That's what? Oh, well, that's unusual. I think she's Don't being sarcastic. Be I got 50 euros on lucky break. Ah, well, I hope you win. So do I, Sherry. So do I. Would you like this cookie? I've got a cookie. <laughs> and you don't. <laughs> Those dry things are disgusting. They're good enough for babies. They're good enough for me. Thanks. I'm going to go search around your drawers now. Excuse me a minute. Look, do you mind not touching the office equipment? Equipment? This is hardly... A peripheral vision was quite simply astounding. She saw you walk over there. Hmm... Oh, we're going to save. That's a good idea. Hmm. What can I do for you? I got this. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. You've shown me already. Yeah, well, obviously you did the work, so you fucked up. Yeah, if you don't let me in. Caught the cockroach. Look. <laughs> ah, keep it away from me. Uh, that's great. Thanks. All right, we'll go give Bassam a, a cockroach. Maybe he can sell it. I don't know. Aha, Mr. Stobart. What can I do for you? Do you want this cockroach? That cookie did the trick. Right customer, right product. It's a winning combination. Are oh, your, most of your clientele cockroaches? So, what else are you selling? Anything retro, George. The past's the future. And you know what they say. He who controls the past controls the future. Do you like more cookie? Thank you for the cookie. You're very welcome. Just stop talking about that cookie. I've got some matches. I stole them. Always good to have. Hmm. I don't want to have to use another, hmm, another hint. Like it had been out of business for a while. Hmm. The aircon went nicely with the Art Deco detailing. Hmm. Maybe we'll call Nico. See what she says. Maybe we gotta call Vera. Hey, Nico. I've arrived at Vera Security. It's a pretty seedy outfit. Great. Anything else? Not right now. Well, call back if you find anything. Oh, but I did get this great cookie. Uh, hmm. Vera Security. I was going to get some answers there. I hope. What can I do? I'm going to turn her radio off. Listen here. <laughs> Do you mind? <laughs> Annette was watching me like a hawk. Well, you're the only one here. She, you're probably the only one she's ever seen and since the cameras were set up. The Vera phone. 
All expenses have been spared. I want to see your black book. Excuse me. <laughs> Hands off, mister. Can I just have a look? Certainly not. That book is very private. Hmm. What else could we do? A crumpled cigarette pack. Not much here. The ashtray was full of cigarette butts. Not much else I could do. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. Well, yep. Oh, fuck. Hang on. Hmm. More evidence that connects her to the gallery. Hmm. All right, we got to get into that little black book, but how do we do that? Maybe I have to make the radio just... Hmm. Even the planet looked depressed. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I gotta fuck with the radio somehow. Put the ash in his pocket and blind the lady. That's it. Pocket sand. The stall was a myriad of retro kitsch. Bottle stoppers. Aha. Uh -huh. Oh. Uh, that cookie did. Okay. Right cut. I didn't think there was much point. Eh, well, whatever. Hang. Smell this. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. At least it's the real thing. Hmm. Maybe she'll like old de toilet. Why do you keep coming in and out of my store? Talk to her about eau de toilet. What can I do for you? Do you recognize it? <laughs> that would take the hair off your legs. I had a boss who wore that. Know what I mean? Gross. All right. How about this wire? Oh, that thing. Do these oh. clippers look familiar? They shouldn't. Yes. Uh. I, I mean, no. Why should they look familiar? Thanks. How do we get her little black book? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't know. I need to distract her. I know, I know, and I, I know. I, I, and we gotta fuck with the radio somehow, but how? <laughs> mm. <laughs> Throw the cockroach at her. Maybe I can... That would be pointless. Not really. Hmm. I don't know. I, I'm at a loss. I know. Uh, all the hints have been just exactly what I'm saying is what I gotta do. I know what I have to do. Sort of. I have to be able to change the radio. But to do that, she's gotta be distracted by something else. I don't know. Right there. Nope. I needed to try something else. Hmm. On the table. No. Whoops, I keep clicking, clicking away from the table. Mm. That would be pointless. Well, I don't know. Cockroach right there. That wasn't worth trying. Why you know? Ah, uh, okay. What am I doing? Oh fuck! Yeah, I got her phone number. Oh right. 
How did I forget that? I kept seeing it, and I... Boy. That'll get her away from the radio for a bit. Hello, Villa Security. George Stobart here. I can see you through the... <laughs> I'm determined to stop wasting my time. Okay. Maybe we can ask... Hmm... The Sam to call. Here's her number. You call and... Aha, Mr. Stobart. What can I do for you? Uh, not much, apparently. Okay. I forgot cell phones were a thing in this game for some reason. Hello, Vera Security. George Stobart here. I can see you. Oh, well, then where can I hide where she can't see me? Just leave. I and... decided to stay till I'd squeezed what I could from Annette. All right, so we can't just leave. Oh boy, what can we do? He also wouldn't just say he's George Stobart if we're doing it correctly. He would say he's like some other guy and probably put on like a southern accent or something. All right, what do they want me to do? <laughs> they want me to just call. All right, sure. I'm right by the door, though. I know. George Stobart. Okay. Maybe get um Nico to give her a call. Hi, Nico. Let me guess. You discovered something else? Not right now. <laughs> well, call back if you find anything. Can I go in your little shop there just to hide uh -huh. I can't do much here um well I can't really go anywhere to hide from her to I decided to leave it as it was uh -huh. Wow, I'm just in circles here. Phone. That looks like an open door. Go there. <gasps> Excuse me. Man, we're getting so far in this game. Like, where do you want me to hide so I can call her? Call Rickenbacker. Orville Redenbacher. Mr. Rickenbacker? Henri used a different security company from the one I recommended, Vera Security. I'm there now. It's a pretty low-grade outfit. Well, find out what you can. Why do I even call that guy? Why, why do I have his number? I guess because I have to. <sighs> There's no options to call. No, it's just call. That's it. George, I can see. <laughs> Hang on, what if I go right in here? Call. Hello, we are a security. We make you secure. Of all the things. I wanted to see what secrets the book might contain. There was a photo. Of course, I grabbed it. There, it's Lane and, and Annette. There you go. 
recognize this? Hey, that's my photo. That's you with Lane, I believe. So, what if it is? What is he to you? Oh, my Hector, that's what he is. My little Hector. Uh oh, ew. Yeah, I thought you said you had nothing to do with the gallery. Look, here's how it is. I've only been here a few weeks. I had nothing to do with that gallery job. I just delivered the paperwork. So, who was the manager before you? I don't know. She just, one day, didn't come in for work. I shouldn't be talking to you. The boss told me to keep my mouth shut. Mm. She was in on it, too. Mm-hmm. Okay, so I'm just going to complain about this for one second here. Going around to the back of another building uh, and calling. She's like, I can see you from the window, but calling right in her doorway is, oh, is okay? That's what we're supposed to do? Yeah, okay. Bullshit. Hi, Nico. Just a guess. You discovered something else? Well, it looks like the lady that works at Vera is friendly with Lane. Uh huh. The back office of Vera Security might be worth looking at, but I can't do it with Annette here. Let me know if you find anything interesting. I'm gonna try and find Lane. I'll tell you what he has to say. Take care. I hope you can't hear the trucks uh, across the street beeping and all that. But anyway, all right. I get into that back office then. Release the cockroach. Release the cockroach. Yeah. That was never going to happen. Took a while to figure out what I wanted there. All right. Um. Yes? The boss. Have you got his number or address? No, I've forgotten it. I mean, I never knew it. Mm -hmm. And that a serious crime has been committed. You're in a lot of trouble. I had nothing to do with it. Look, I need this job. I need the money. Who's paying you? It's only a silly old painting. No one got hurt. Someone died. The gallery owner was shot. Badly? Yeah, he's pretty dead. Oh. This is a murder investigation. Now, who's your boss? I don't know. Honest. He faxes me if he wants anything. Fax? Who is he? I've never seen him. Never met him. Hmm. Don't make trouble for poor Annette. Thanks. I was pretty sure Annette had told me all she was going through. She sounded scared. Time to put the thumb screws on Lane. And I mean just how. Are we good here then? I Hang was on. pretty sure. Oh, okay, we're not gonna talk about Lane? Alright. Oh well. I don't really want to know what she does with Lane. Time to confront Lane. Alright, and he's probably still hanging out around here. Or wait. I mean, have we been to Henri's apartment? Don't think I can just go the in there. was sealed off. The place looked empty. Lane wasn't exactly easy to miss, and it looked like he wasn't around. Hmm. Seize the day, boys. Heh <laughs> beneath the steel sky reference. Have you seen a huge guy with a bad hair? Hi. Get this lady killed, bro. Well, I just want a couple answers. I mean. You can't hear someone over the fax machine. I'm looking for Mr. Lane. Has he been here? It's not like they got security cameras. Wait. Ah, oh, yes, monsieur. He came by earlier. Told me he was off to console Henri's widow. Oh, how's he consoling her? Out. <laughs> uh, how do I go to the map? How do I leave? I gotta go the other way? Nope. 
Okay. I had no. No, no, no. Is that what we're doing? Ooh, interesting. So Lane was consoling the widow. What a big heart that guy had. Yeah, he needs it to pump blood through that Did huge he body. Have a grand scheme or just loose morals? We just go in. Henri, it's me. Oh wait, no, Mrs. Henri. Mademoiselle Henri. Robos. Hello. This is George Stobart. May I come up? I'm sorry. This is a very inconvenient time. Come back later. I know that's you, Mr. Lane. I need to talk to you. <laughs> Mr. Lane, does the name Annette mean anything to you? I have no idea what you're talking about. I need to talk to Madame Dubois. I'm sure it can wait. Hmm. Mm-hmm. If you don't let me in, I'll tell the police about your interesting connection to the security company. <laughs> that looks just like Nico's apartment. Oh, no, it's done. Lord, George, you have a worse timing. Sorry. Is this a bad time to accuse you of lying? What do you want? I've just come from Vera's security. So? What do you know about the owner of Vera's security? I've never had the pleasure. Tell me about Annette. Who? From Vera security. I don't know any Annette. You know, this I'm one. I'm surprised you let your conquests keep souvenirs. Oh. Where did you get that? Annette lent it to me. Lent, yes. For God's sake. So. Come on, Lane. Tell me about Annette. All right, all right. I had a fling with her, okay? Now keep your voice down, please. And you two fixed the security for the robbery? No, nothing like that. Anyway, the, the fling was a mistake. She turned out to be rather needy. I believe you. You're not a criminal. Just a lecherous old man. <laughs> God. Of the old, if you don't mind. As it happens, I make a lot of women happy. Is it just because you have money? Especially when you leave them. Ooh, boy. George is nasty. Annette told me he's some angry-looking Russian chap. Okay, Lane. Take off. You can't tell me what to do. You want me to show Bijou this picture? <laughs> all right, all right, I'm going. You haven't heard the last of me, Stobart. Promise? And give me that photo. <laughs> If Lane was telling the truth... Man, George does not like him much, and it's so funny. She what? said she'd never met the owner and was very keen to get rid of me. I wondered if she was hiding something interesting in that back office. Mm-hmm. How are you going to introduce yourself properly? How'd you know I was here? Interesting music to play at like a, uh, a wake or whatever this is. Your acquaintance, madame. My name's George Stobart. Call me Bijou. Is that your real name, or is just what you want me to call you? Hello, young man. Oh. Such a delight to have a new visitor. What can I do for you? Let me turn that music I'm off for a sec. Company. I'm so sorry for your loss. Henri, my poor sauvage. He died in his prime. He was like 60, wasn't Could he? I just ask you a few questions? Well, why not? A little company might just pep me up, as you Americans might say. Well, you just... Yeah, what is this awful racket? Player seems to be stuck on the same song. Oh, George, it's a yes. single. This song gives me great comfort. It reminds me of all the... But he's just over there. You go say hi. <laughs> Can you tell me about the gallery? Was the business doing well? The gallery was Henri's baby. 
You never spoke to me about it. Yeah, it's pretty weird. So you weren't involved? <laughs> not at all. Business is not my thing. But it's an art gallery. You seem to like art. Henri was very brave at the gallery. He tried to stop the thief and paid the ultimate price. Henri was my lion. And my little pussy cat. Bijou, I think someone involved with the gallery helped the thief. It wasn't Hector Lane. He's not devious enough. He's not sneaky enough. Not nearly stealthy enough. But I will get to the bottom of it, I promise you. How are you coping? There's a g bottom to get You're to, to of. Take it in, Can you it see? <laughs> will this cookie help you <laughs> cope? I, I was feeding it to a cockroach. This, you know, normal American things. I think perhaps I'll pass. Oh, would you like to meet him? Hey, this might cheer you up. Say hello to <laughs> He gave me a name. A cockroach? I prefer the word pal. And I prefer the word best. Please never show it to me again. Oh my God, George. I wonder if Trevor is the name of like a, a Kickstarter backer who donated a whole bunch of money. Uh, all right. Oh yeah. Okay, you don't care. Ah, this was probably his. Do you actually like this garbage? It's heavenly, isn't it? Oh, he loved it. So? Why are we here? I get. <laughs> Why are we? Do you know this company, Vera Security? No, I don't. I've never heard of them. No, thank you. Have you met your match? Thank you. Yet? Okay, so that's that's the pleasure, young man. the cue that we have nothing else to say. The name of the dev no one liked didn't seem replaceable. <laughs> Annette on the other hand had lied about Vera Security's owner. Mm-hmm. Now we have to walk all the way back. Oh wait, no, we don't. Hang on, we got a cell phone. Night was falling. Oh. Annette would have left for the evening. Hmm. It was time to pay a visit to Vera Security. We're going to break and enter to investigate this theft. A short time later. Oh, okay. The empty mall was lit by bright moonlight. The perfect ambiance for a little detective work. How, um... I wanted a good look at that back office. How'd you get into this empty mall? Just had to find a way in. You don't think they'd have some kind of security system in, in place, would you? There was no way I could force the shutter open with my bare hands. I needed to find another way. Shutter control. Oh, there we go. Just got to open it. There it is. It was the shutter control. All right, control it. There was no sign of a button or a keyhole. No. Oh, okay. It must have been controlled remotely. Hmm. A wire ran up to the electrical box above. Ah, uh, a wire, you say? I think I gotta push this wheelie bin up to a uh, wheelie bin's not what we're doing. Well, it's okay. We can call it a wheelie bin. Electrical box up there, but I couldn't reach it from the ground. Okay, grab box. Push box here. That's on wheels, though, so, you know, be careful. What are we doing, George? Push it over here. This way. Here we go. That's not what we're doing, is it? We can only push it in two directions. Okay, we can't push it over here anywhere. I guess what I might be doing is crawling up here and going across there. Let's save. <laughs> so I just thought of the name, The Serpent's Curse. Shit! It's a snake saying shit. Get it? Okay, but how do I crawl on the box? Rearranging the sign had been a stroke of genius. Even if I do say so myself. The box was in the perfect position to access the beam above. All right, so do that. Oh, I just click on the beam. I see. I was looking for like an arrow or a little finger pointing upwards, so I was a little confused. 
Yeah, okay, no, he's confused too. All right, got it. Don't do... Mm. Can you just go up there? No, the... Mm, boy. Um... He's doing it again. Okay, so... Hmm. Okay. We need to keep that over there. Usually that would be kept inside, but... Okay. That's just another sign up there. Okay, so, like, get up there. The box was in the perfect position to access... Yeah? All right. Do so. Do just that. Up there. Go. Consult with the cockroach. He's still... Oh my god. He's just going to keep him in there the rest of the game? All right. Greasy tissue all over again. All right. Okay, can we just click on that? There was an electrical box up. What are you expecting me to do? Like I'm obviously I'm doing it. Uh-huh. 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 Get it below the girder. Um Oh my god. I have to click on the girder? I thought I was going... Okay. I was looking at this all wrong. This looked further away, like some kind of bridge. And this looked... Okay. Okay. It's a perspective thing. I couldn't really tell what was going on there. The lid open. Inside was an air con unit and... Bingo. The master controls for the shutters. I'm sorry. Air conditioning... And security in one box. It was the motor that operated the shutters. Oh, here we go. It was the master controller for the shutters. All right, so open it. It was the power supply. It was the power supply. Oh, open it then. It was the motor that operated oh, the shutters. Okay. That would be point. Well, then open the fucking thing. Or is that all I had to do? Oh, it just dropped down. Okay. Okay, so I was doing everything right. It's just a perspective thing. I should have just clicked it. I see, I was trying to get up here, thinking I could stand up there, but it's it's too short. Okay. Anyway, I don't have to explain myself. Whatever. It was the shutter control. Mm-hmm. Use it. It was the shutter. This okay. Well, I turned it off. Isn't that good enough? Oh wait. There was no. I thought maybe once it's uh, it's unlocked. I don't know. Just like old times, I just click where I want to go and things happen. Ding. Hang on. Wire. The wire connected the power supply to the aircon. The aircon blade was exposed. I was glad it wasn't spinning. The wire connected the power supply yeah. to the aircon. Oh, right. I got nail clippers, don't I? So I want to I'd cut the wire in half. I hoped I was doing the right thing. This is breaking and entering. And it's vandalism too. Well that shutter's not open, so
Yeah, that's what I meant to do. Good thing this um, mall doesn't have any sort of security. Took the radio, took the phone, and took the book. And took the dead rat, too. And took everything off the table. Hmm. The security company isn't just going to keep the master key right here In by the front door. With a single Q-tip. Okay. Fuck it, it's mine now. It was Oops. my lucky day. It hadn't been used. Oh, good. Well, maybe just used for something besides earwax, that's all. Which is not how you're supposed to use them, apparently, but we all do. The room it, was pitch black. I couldn't see a thing. A security company left this door unlocked. They're doing a real great job. Oh, use your phone's flashlight. Oh, no, it doesn't have that option? Oh, okay. No light switch? Mm, George is afraid of the dark. Okay. Nowhere else I can go, is there? Where's the lights? He won't go in. He just won't go in. Okay. No light switch anywhere. Oh. <laughs> but yeah, okay. There we go. In the corner of the room was a pizza delivery store. Oh, just like the one the killer had escaped on. Oil had dripped from the scooter onto the floor. smeared some oil onto the cotton bud. I sure hope if I touch this, I'm not tampering with evidence. Okay, I'm gonna just <laughs> keep that in mind. Mm. There was a letter jammed in the shredder. A security company didn't know how... To... Oh boy, okay. I tried to free the gears, but they were jammed solid. Its service was long overdue. You are supposed to lubricate these things once in a while. Usually the gears would be just like open like that, exposed. I smeared the gears with oil. Uh huh. Now I don't want to shred it. I want to reverse it. Guess what? Shredders have a reverse button. It won't unshred things, of course, but it will reverse it so you can unjam things. But nope, that's not what we're doing. Okay. It was time to see what was in the letter. Then you should have reversed it. Oh, here we go. All right. Oh. Can I move this paper clip out of it? Oh, okay. Okay. So obviously this is a very cheap shredder too. Could you imagine a security company using a shredder that's very cheap? And has these gigantic chunks? Usually you want to get something that has a uh, either micro cut, which basically turns into confetti, or at least um what's the other one called? Uh What? Oh, Jesus. No, not quite right. Uh, at least what's the other cross cut, which was these strips and then cuts across a few times, but it still makes very small pieces.
I definitely want George Stobart as my uh, insurance guy. Oh my god. Put it down. Why won't he put it down? Fine, put it there. Put it there. There, fine. Okay. Now, so can we maybe put some drop shadows on it? Makes it a little easier to read. Or easier to see which pieces are on top of other pieces. No, that's not right, is it? No. Okay, we'll put that there for a second. All right, yeah, this is a... Uh... I swear, I'm having fun. Are you having fun? Okay, well, hang on. This is definitely like the top corner here. Oh. Nope. Mr. R oh, what was his name? Ro Romavi Romanovich or something? Oh, that's actually at the end of it. Hmm. Oh, boy. Look at this, they got their own stationery and everything already. I'm actually just going by the shape of the lizard so far. What does this stupid lizard look like? It's flipped around there, so it's a little harder. <laughs> ah. There we go. Okay. Some but special attention there. No, no, right here. Yeah, there you go. All right. We're doing good. Hmm. 
Hmm. Oops. Aha, hang on. To represent you. There it is. I just noticed another thing. Uh, anonymous. Oop. Anonymous. Oh my god, why won't you just click? Okay. Okay. I can have overlapping pieces, but I can't just put that right there for some reason. Printed it in, in landscape for some reason. There we go. I'm running out of space here, though. Okay. Your offer was a very a generous. There we go. This is the worst security company I've ever seen. Don't know if I made that uh, obvious. Anonymous. No. Now hang on. Forthcoming. That's lizard butt. Right there. In this matter. Oh, okay, there we go. There we go. From Ali confirming that Vera Security had the contract for the exhibition. And it also revealed who was in charge at Vera. A guy called Madofsky. I thought Land had told you that. But why was Ali thanking Madofsky for being generous? And why was he pleased to represent him? Maybe Madofsky was the owner we'd been looking for. It didn't add up. I had a gut feeling. There was something fishy going on. I hope we're keeping this letter. Yeah, we are. Okay, good. Mess. Mess and empty boxes. Any paintings in here? The box was empty. Annette had cleared everything out. Okay. Except the scooter. What's in the box? The pizza delivery scooter. Is there pizza in there? The shredder had died. Annette must have overworked it. Remember to lubricate your shredder once a month at least, if it's a 
Let me use it pretty often. You don't have to lubricate it as much if you don't use it very much. Um, nothing much else in here. Oh, wait a minute. Yes, there is. The air vent had a tiny cat on the side. There's something the air there. Vent. What do you want me to do? It felt like the perfect opportunity to use Lane's clippers. Sadly, they were designed to cut, not lever. Hmm. Wait, I can pick something up here. Hang on. Oh, never mind. What do I have that can lever? But we shall also save. The air vent had... Through the grill, I could see something glinting. But it was too dark to tell what it was. Oh, uh, here's a match. I only had a few matches. Using one now probably wasn't a good idea. All right, fine. There we go. The paper clip was perfect for the job. There was definitely something in there. Grab it. Now, what are you got? Oh. Well, yeah. would you believe it? Now your fingerprints are all over it. Very likely the one that had been used to shoot Henri. Aha! So, what have we here? L'Américain, Monsieur Stobart. You will rue the day you crossed my path, because now you are caught in my net like a little red herring. Inspector, I'm investigating the robbery. Wait. No, monsieur. You are breaking and entering an innocent storeroom. He's got you there. I found the murder weapon. Found? No. Planted? Yes. Mou, arrest this man and take him to the station. I shall squeeze you, monsieur Stobart, until your pips... Squeak. I don't know what that means. It sounds gross. Georges is caught in jail again. Okay. Yes, Remy. I just wish I'd got some better shots of the killer. Are you kidding? That stuff from the hip is very dramatic. You did good, Nico. So, what's next? Look at that. It's her apartment in HD. Upgraded to an iMac. I'm <laughs> monitor ready. Of course. Oh, gotta go. Someone at the door. <gasps> well, her editor is actually really being really nice to her for once. Oh, I thought it was Moo. Are you Nicole Collar? Yes, can I help you? I need to sit down. There was chairs everywhere. I think you could just... The benches outside, too. Are they gonna confiscate Trevor? All right, we're gonna save here for tonight. Ooh, excuse me. Okay, we're gonna save here for tonight. Well, hang on. What time is it? Oh, it's not even midnight yet. You know what? We were late anyway. Let's do an extra five minutes. Ten minutes. Fuck it. Would you like a glass of wine? Yes, those stairs are a nightmare. I thought there was an elevator. Well, it's an old building, so probably not. That's better. So, what can I do for you, Monsieur? My name is Tiago Marquez. Oh, okay. So I saw your report on the robbery. I found your address. How did you find my address? Came straight away. I needed to see you. It's and about the painting, isn't it? The stolen painting, La Malediction. It belongs to me. Oh, you painted it? Ronnie had wanted me to interview the owner, and now here he was. Or rather, 
he was somebody who claimed to be the owner. So this stolen painting is yours. Tell me more. The Maledictio belonged to my family in Catalonia in the 30s before the Civil War. So what was it doing here in Paris? The fascists stole it in 1938. They're not gonna say the name, okay. They should be prepared to die. I have been looking for it ever since. You have to help me find it. Tell me about yourself. I am Tiago Marquez, the rightful owner of La Malediction. What else is there to tell? You traveled all the way from Catalonia? No. Since the war, I've lived in France, in the southwest. And now I want the painting back. Ooh, excuse me, so, who painted it? Did you lose all your family in the Civil War? When they came for us in 38, I fled with my mother. But my father was not so lucky. Mm. I'm sorry. I would have stayed and fought for freedom. But I was just a boy. You've got my attention, but if I'm to help you, I need more to go on. I have something. This old photograph. It is of me and my family. Laura's photograph! I pulled it out of my ass. Okay. Above the fireplace? Yes, it's La Malediction. The photograph certainly appeared to link the old man to the painting. Hmm. Mm-hmm. You took the photographs at that robbery, huh? I did, yes. I need to see them. Why? Please, I must see them. All right. Here they are. Hmm. There is a good shot of it. Mm, this shot didn't come out too well. Okay. Perfect. Oh. Perfect? Finally, la malediction in all its splendor. The lines, the color, the detail. It's been so long since I've seen it. Then take it. That shot is no good to me. Really? Thank you, mademoiselle. Hmm. Here's the guy. This is the best shot I took. They used it in the paper. Yes, it is how I recognize La Malediction, my painting. It does look like the one in your photograph. So close, but now it is lost again. Here's the thief making it. <sighs> what is that tattoo on his arm? Bad. Looks like a skull and crossbones. No, headhunters. You will find him, and then you will find my painting. I can try, monsieur. You must, mademoiselle. I'm just a reporter. Why would you ask me? This one was rejected. George got in the way. Typical. <laughs> Typical. Who is this George? Just a friend. He insured the painting. So, he will know who is this liar who claims to own my painting. I don't think he does. He would have told me. Hmm. Marquez's story was very interesting. But I needed to corroborate it. I wondered if the gallery kept ownership records. And while I didn't wholly trust you, this was the one lead that I didn't want to lose. Where are you staying? What? Nowhere. Here, perhaps. That's not happening. I didn't want you to stay in my apartment. There was another solution. Henri's apartment. My neighbor is out of town for a few days. You could stay there. Uh, is that how that works? That would be good. Thank you. Great. Let's go. Adam said that he would leave this back key under the mat. Why? Why? Do people do that? Is that a thing? Okay. My neighbor had left a key for me under the doormat. Why for you? Which reminded me mm. I hadn't read the big plan. Oh, that's why. The key wasn't there. Uh-oh. 
The door was locked, but my neighbor always left a key under the mat. Uh-oh. Do I have the key already? Uh-oh. I was pretty good at popping locks with plastic cards, but the crack between the door frame and the lock was just too narrow. Oh. The gap was wide, but not wide enough for my fingers. Okay. They don't even show her holding it, Using which is the annoying. Chewing gum, I was able to fish out the key. The door. You have the key. Like, that's something that's annoying in all games. I have the key. Open door. No, no, you have to click key. Click door with key. Like, just... You have the key. Just open the door, okay? Oh, no. <gasps> this guy sure likes pugs. Well, his plants are still alive, so that's good. This will do. Glad it's up to standard. I have to go out, Michi. Not till you water the plants. You promised me the front page if I got an interview with the painting's owner. And here was a crazy Spaniard claiming to be just that. I needed to find out who had put the painting up for sale. Maybe there was more to find at the gallery. Uncomfortable metro ride later. Hmm. Len was sitting outside the cafe. He looked dazed. Oh, I see. Hello, Monsieur Len. Ah, the delectable Nicole. Ew. Super Don't call me that. How may I be of service? I was hoping I'd find you here. Getting oh, drunk again. Available for a lovely lady such as yourself. Mm. Cut the crap. I'm I am with George, so you know. On his death, it must be so very hard for you. Yes. I shall miss him deeply. I shall miss him deeply. Where is he from? Loss is so hard to endure, even for a man of such inner strength as myself. I'm trying to see if I can like buy a print of the Maledizio. What do you know about the owner of La Maledizio? Or Dixio, fine. That was Henri's business. He found the painting and did the deal with the owner. Would anybody else know anything about the owner? Not likely. He kept especially quiet about that one. Mm. But he always kept a manifest for every exhibition. I'm writing a follow-up piece on the gallery stuff. Ah, so you need an inside view. Authoritative. Something like that. The police have finished in the gallery. We could chat in the office. It's much more comfortable. No, nah, it's okay. Intimate. I might even be able to rustle up a little bottle of champagne. No. Maybe later. I have some things to do first. Maybe next time, then. You mentioned a manifest. How would one get a look at that? One might start in the office. That's where Henri kept most of his paperwork. Hmm, so we gotta do something with that David statue. About the gallery. Of course, my dear. We can go there now, if you'd like. No, not yet. Hmm. Let me think about that. Hang on. Thank you, Monsieur Le We gotta click on At this robot. Service, toujours, madame. Always. Hmm. No, just click on robot. All partings foreshadow the great final one. Hmm. Hmm. Interesting. Hello, Mr. Lin. I had a think. Oh, hello. Just get me in. You said oh. Of course. No, let's let's go. Uh, of course. That sounds great. We can discuss my ordeal. Over a glass of champagne. A cozy chat with Lane was the last thing I wanted. Yeah. But it was my best hope if I wanted to get a look around the office. 
So, what are we waiting for? <laughs> oh, the dude's laughing at him for having to rock himself out of the chair. Wow. Everyone's a snob. Anything else stolen? After you, my dear. This is where he kills me. There's some champagne under there. Look at that. The place is heaving with and now, Nicole Gullard, this is where you die. Easy. Hmm. As Lane sat down, something stuck out from beneath the cushion. <laughs> it looked like a folder. Whatever it was, the police had missed it. I needed to get it. Come, join me on the couch. I'm ready for you. Gross. You will be gentle with me, won't you? Oh, I'm never gentle, Monsieur Lane. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Do call me Hector. Mm, no. I didn't want to sit down. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. Lane hadn't noticed the folder. With that amount of padding, who would? <laughs> the only way to get hold of it was to distract him. Or just... Uh, whatever. Uh, what are we doing? Hector, please. So you really don't know who owns the sap? I'm sorry, my dear, I really don't. I see Henri had a statue of himself. Uh, kind of yes. as David. For a man of high aspiration, he had alarmingly low taste. Nevertheless, I shall miss him. We were like family. What will happen to this place now? Henri's widow will decide, poor soul. She may find it in her heart to keep me around. Mm. Oh, I'm sure she will. Yeah, uh, for furniture. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> you can tell me about the painting. It was an absolute treat to come across it. A true undiscovered gem. I would like to have it. <laughs> denying it is a fantastic painting. What can you tell me about the religious significance? Of course, there is a deep religious symbolism locked within the painting, too. I'd like, like a, a, an 11 by 17 print of it, please. Of saints. Oh, Hector. Perhaps I will join you in that glass of champagne. But of course, champagne. So that weird, but oh well. Times. How long has that been sitting there, though? Uh, oh no. Uh, grab it. If I try to reach across, I touch Lane's leg. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> and that will definitely send the wrong signals there. Oh boy. Look at his lips on his mouth. Ma. Ah. Ma. Okay. Hmm. What can you tell? As I said. Don't you think it's a bit awkward in here? With so much of Henri looming over us. Just ignore it, my dear. So you really don't know? I'm... S huh? Oh, that's in my inventory. To new friends. Oh, okay. To love. Hmm. Oh, I knew that she was going to do that. Oh, but Joe, that is so cold. Oops, silly me. I am so sorry. I'll have to dry this off. <laughs> Don't you worry, my dear. Is he French or not? Because he doesn't have an accent. He says, Mon Dieu. The folder was a list of all the paintings in the exhibition. La Maledicio had to be there. It was. And next to it was the owner's name. Mr. Madovsky. Mm. had obviously not spotted the folder. I put He's also the owner of Vera Security. So why would he want his 
to steal his own painting. For everything. But I think I hear my editor calling. Ma cherie, no need to leave so soon. It, it's only a little spillage. How big do you think Hector is? And I found out who claims to own the Malagat's view. Some guy named Madovsky. Sounds Russian, right? Madovsky, my god. Who is he? He's new on the old dark block. Fresh into London from Russia with his affirmation and a bloody reputation. Call Art, this is way over your head. I'm gonna put a more experienced crime journalist on the story. I can't afford for you to get hurt. Relax, Ronnie. This is my story. Leave it with me. Let's discuss it over lunch tomorrow. She's done all kinds of crazy stuff before. <laughs> She's fine. We better call George. Me on this story, but I wasn't going to let him give it to someone else. I was going to have the new boss. No oh, wait, George is in jail again. Come in. Is this your boyfriend? Oh, there he is. How'd you get out? George, great to see you. How did it go over at Gira? Hope you don't mind me just dropping in. No, not at all. I need bail money. Pretty good. I found the gun that was used in the robbery. I'm impressed. Yeah. And the scooter. No, wasn't. He accused me of trying to plant it, and then of being involved in all these deaths. Then he threw me into a cell. He couldn't make a stick, of course, so he had to let me go this morning. But he's convinced I'm involved. So if I put a foot wrong, he'll nail me next time. But, hey, on the bright side, have I got a story for you. Now they're going to chit-chat and they're going to fight, figure out, okay, so Madofsky is the uh, same guy who owns two things here. Okay, why is he stealing his own painting? The manager at Vera Security lied about the owner of the company. When I pieced together that shredded letter, I got a name, Madofsky. Medovsky. That's the same guy who claims to own La Maledictio. What? He owns the painting and Vera Security? He has to be the one behind this whole scam. You're telling me. Hmm. We have to be sure. Now, did Henri F have to die? What the? I ran out of toilet paper. I cannot sleep on that bed. It is too soft. Sleep on the floor then. Yes, this is Senor Marquez. Uh, nice to meet you. Hmm. So you are this George, huh? Senor Marquez is staying in the apartment across the hall. Apparently, he's the real owner of La Maledictio. What? I thought you said Madovsky was the owner. Senor Marquez claims the painting was stolen from his family during the Spanish Civil War. Really? Do you have any proof? Senor Marquez, could you show him the photograph? Of course, I carry it with me everywhere. Yup. Oh, I... Th hmm. A pair of statues stood on plinths on the mantelpiece. That's definitely La Maledictio hanging on the wall. It belongs to my family, so it belongs to me. Oh, fair enough. Who is this? My father. When they came for us in 38, I fled with my mother. But my father was not so lucky. Oh, did he just repeat that same Who line? Who is this? My mother. A uh, good woman. Obviously. Saint. How can we prove this is you as a child? The dates would tie up, George. If the painting really was stolen during the 1930s, then this Madovsky guy has no legitimate claim to it. But how can I be sure that you're the boy in that picture? I can prove it. Look at my father in the photograph. You see the medallion he's wearing? He gave it to me just before he died. This medallion oh, there it is. our family for hundreds of years. And Ouroboros. Definitely the same medallion. A snake eating its own tail. And that's also on the painting. Oh, it so it is. Ouroboros. Yeah, see, like I said. The what? The Ouroboros. It is a sign of my people, my family, my faith. The Gnostics. My father was a Gnostic leader. The Maledictio, the 
is sacred to the Gnostics, hence they both display. Like agnostic? A priest I met said the painting was the devil's work, a thing of evil. Ha, <laughs> he would say that. Do not believe all you hear from the church. Whatever you think, the painting is mine. If Marquez was the true owner of Maledict's seal, then Madovsky had no legal claim to it. Might be tough to prove, but if I could, we wouldn't have to pay out on the insurance. <laughs> so if the painting belongs to you, how did Madovsky get it? The fascists stole it. It went to Madrid, then Berlin, then after the war to Moscow. After that, it was lost. Until now. Well, it is lost again now. We so. need to talk to this Madovsky, but how do we find it? Well, George, didn't you get a letter with an address? Here's the proof that Henri was involved in the robbery. Interesting, but it doesn't help us find the killer. Nico's camera was pretty old. I wished she could afford a new one. Whoa, 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 whoa. Just because it's old doesn't mean it's bad. It's still like an SLR camera. It's so what is it if it's film? A lot of professionals still prefer to use film. Nico had finally upgraded her computer. Yeah, so don't worry. Nico's camera was pr It looked like Nico kept her most secret possessions. I'm sorry, can you let's just hit the microphone there. Senor Marquez. Yes, George. You mentioned the Gnostics. What can you tell me about them? Mm hmm It is not important. A religious sect, that is all. My family were Gnostic, and they were a peaceful, good people. Hmm. So, La Maledictio belongs to your family? It did. Once it was stolen. You okay. must have been excited to see the painting again. It was a miracle. Do you like a cookie? You a cookie, Senor Marquez? <laughs> no, it has been in your pocket and is falling to pieces. I found some evidence that ties Henri to the Dodge's security company. That doesn't surprise me. It sounds as though the whole thing was set up. Maybe Henri isn't actually dead. Hey, Senor Marquez, meet Trevor. He is a cockroach in a box. He's my new pet. I'm getting rather attached to him. I'm surprised the cockroach hasn't eaten the box yet. Hey, Nico? Yes, George? What do we know about this Madovsky character? Ronnie said he was dangerous and very rich. He claims to be the owner of La Maledictio. And appears to be the boss of Vera's security who were supposed to protect it. Now, that who seem to have to disappeared. Hired to look after it. But why steal a painting you already own? We need to talk to mm -hmm. him. To do that, we need to find him. Maybe insurance fraud is all. So let's go over what we know about the thief. Okay, well, he had a distinctive tattoo on one arm. And his helmet had Waterloo motors across it. Not a lot to go on. You said the thief had a tattoo? On his arm. It was a skull and crossbones with headhunters written around it. We need to track down Waterloo motors. Have you tried the internet? No. I'm kind of busy. I'm scared of it. Okay, let's have a look. Waterloo Station, Battle of Waterloo, Waterloo Kebabs, Waterloo Sunset. Ah, uh, here we go. Waterloo. <laughs> Waterloo by Ava. Cars in London. I'll send the number to your phone. <laughs> cool. All right. Well, that's something to go off of. Let's uh. Ah, fuck it. Let's call him. Hi. How can I help you? My name is George Stobart. I'm investigating a murder that was committed here in Paris. Click. What's that got to do with us? 
The guy we're looking for was wearing a helmet with Waterloo Motors on it. Oh, yeah. This is a very popular helmet. <laughs> I don't <laughs> suppose you know who might have bought one? Well, not unless you've got any more information about it. Thanks for nothing, Todrick. The killer had a tattoo on his arm. It said, Headhunters. Oh, I know that guy. Yeah, he, uh, he bought one of our helmets just the other day. Terrific. Do you know his name? Oh, that's more than enough. You've been a great help. Thanks for your time. See ya. Bingo. Good work. That has to be the guy. And now we've got his address. How about a trip to London? I thought you'd never ask. Senor Marquez, will you be okay here? The bed is uncomfortable. As long as you let me sniff your panties. Come back quickly. With the painting, eh? Alright. Now I think I'll save. London yep. cabbies. Nope. Gotta love them. This is the place. Here on the right. So is this all hand painted? It looks great. To afford a place like this in London, you've got to be good at something. Killing. We're clear on how we're going to do this? No. Yeah. We're two insurance investigators, see? We finoodle our way inside, butter Manofsky up, and then get the dirt on him, right? Finoodle? Wait, where'd that come from? Yeah. Finoodle. You remember how to finoodle, don't you, Mitzi? George, how could I ever forget? What? Good. Because I suspect we're going to need major league finoodling to get in this one. You got it. I don't think George and Nico have ever finoodled, though. Well, not on camera, I guess. Or on screen, rather. All right. Well, that's going to do it for tonight. Because, uh... Well, i got to go to bed eventually. So, that was fun. How exciting. Um, yeah, so, um, what next? I guess uh, I'm going to bed, you're going to bed. Um, tomorrow, some more um, Zelda, Majora's Mask. That'll be fun, too, I think. Where do we leave off? Oh, yeah, just before the next boss there. Okay. Uh, yeah, that's it. And then, of course, Thursday, more Bioshock Infinite. Um... Yeah, okay, so, uh, good night. Uh, have a good night. Have some of that, oh my god, have some of that black cherry berry tea. It's very good. <laughs> um, yeah, I guess that's it. So, sleep now, and the good times will come. <laughs> Something like that. 